So I'm just going to go through how you can service the um, heat recovery cell inside the MVHR unit that you have above your um, above the kitchen. So what we noticed is we've been here for 12 years or so. We've noticed that the, the steam wasn't going into the unit. It was just kind of going under the kitchen units. So um, uh, just as a note, for some reason, they they um, there's a screw here, screw here, screw here, screw here. I took those screws out and I put a hinge in here. So so there's, there's a hinge. That's just to get access to it. So this is the unit itself. Um, R1, these covers dropped off, but you, there'll be covers here. You can pull these out. These are filters, which you're supposed to vacuum every uh, every month, and you're supposed to replace every six months. It's about, um, if you shop around, you can get them for about under £20 for the two. So here I've taken them out. You can see these are just six months old, and they're really disgusting. <laughs> so you do need to keep um, maintaining these. So yeah, every six months, replace them. So here you can see the um, the hinges. Uh, here, the cupboard next to it, there's a little box that allows you to turn it off. So you're never supposed to turn this off, but obviously to, to, to service this, which is an every five year occurrence, which takes a bit more time, you've got to turn it off. So here we've got screws that for some reason they didn't put screws everywhere but here there's one two three screws that you need to take off make sure it's turned off that should be blank so when you take the cover off you can see you've got this heat recovery cell it's called um so inside all different rooms there's this thing on the ceiling that either pulls in the air from the room or it pushes it down if it's in a bathroom or a kitchen it pulls it um, and if it's in um, a bedroom, it pushes it in. It takes uh, cold air from the inside, mixes it with warm air from the um, the other rooms, and then distributes it around. So here, notice there's like an arrow here, and there's like a piece of plastic here, which is what you need to pull. So just a quick demonstration of what I just said. So yeah, the hot air is coming in um, from the uh, from the hot rooms, and the cold air is coming in from outside, and the inside here which is all made of plastic it's mixing that together um, and then distributing the hot air um, into other rooms and what that means is that there's no condensation on the windows which is great so there's no black mold so this is a bit tricky to get out but here you're holding it in the middle and you're pulling it gently so here it is all these are plastic there's no metal inside and it's yeah pretty disgusting lots of oil from cooking and here you can see what we've got here is all this all this kind of mess here at the bottom and oil um, that all needs sorting out. So yeah, it's just you can just see a bit more of the, the dirt here. So this unit needs to be really, really rinsed in the bath. Um, and you'll see like lots of bits come out. Um, I didn't use soap. Just be careful because this whole unit is like £3,000. So really careful with this thing. Yep, so here I'm just letting it drip, letting it drip and like shake it, move it around to really get the water out. Once once it's kind of coming through clear or you feel that you can't see, you know, so much of this um, stuff that blocks it. I suppose like the oil from cooking fish and meat and whatnot, it just all gets um, stuck with dust. Right, so again, so that, while that unit is kind of in there, um, in the bath drying, or just, you know, the water's coming out. You can have a look again. We're, we've kind of gone back to here. So this, this has got two fans at the bottom. So obviously if, it, if you put it back wet, if it's not been dried, then the water will get into here and, and break it. So you have to leave it for quite a while to dry. So here you can see all this kind of gunk and mess, you know, build up of a decade or more worth of uh, oil. So I was just putting my hand in and just, you know, loosening as much as I could. You can see here all these big chunks. Get your vacuum, vacuum it up. That's what it looks like, nice and clean now. You can see much better than before. This bit also had a lot of um, stuff in it, so I used a uh, damp cloth and I just kind of wiped it, wiped it as much as I could. It's obviously looking a lot better. And here, this is a lot better than it was before. Now. 
next day in the morning, I'd never seen this before, but the windows were covered in condensation. So during the day, keep the windows open while you're waiting for the uh, the heat recovery cell, which is that um, that green thing to dry. So I left this in the in the bathroom. Um, so I shook it a lot in the bath to really try to get out as much as I could. And then I kind of, you know, left it there and you could see still of bits of water still were coming out. So again, keep shaking it, keep rotating it um, so that the water drains out. Yeah, live and let dry. You really have to let it dry. Super important. So I would suggest two days just to make sure it's super dry or more. And then you're putting it back in. This is the, I didn't take a picture of doing this, but note these arrows. That's where it needs to go back in to put it in the right way. And there you have it, the final picture. I've screwed back the unit, given it a wipe. Um, because these things, these things, uh, the company that supplies this stuff, all there, you can get parts for them, but I, I thought it was quite expensive, £30 for these things, these covers. So I just use some duct tape to keep them on. Um, that works as a hinge, so you can open it. And then I put a little thing here saying when it was deep cleaned. So deep cleaning, like I did here, or a service rather, you do it every five years. And you want to be opening these every month, vacuuming them. And then every six months, you need to um, replace them. And that's it. Hope that's useful. Take care.